Regarding the development of communication networks, the United States has begun to worry. In recent years, the United States has continuously strengthened communication cooperation with Europe, Japan and other countries and regions through joint research and development and signing large-scale procurement contracts. At the same time, the United States and South Korea jointly acted to build a 6G research center, aiming at the early deployment of the next network era. What kind of 6G deployment does each country have? Can the United States bypass 5G and achieve 6G leadership? Li Deren, Wu He Chuan, and other domestic academicians once issued a warning, we must be alert to the 6G research and development in the United States. We must have an understanding of the importance of the 6G field and start the corresponding layout without delay. Today's global status in the 6G field is roughly the same as the academician predicted. China's development in the communications field has once again been isolated. Countries such as Japan and South Korea have launched in-depth cooperation in communications. According to recent news, the United States and South Korea have joined forces. Knowing that 5G technology cannot catch up, they set their sights on the layout of the next network era. They will jointly build a 6G research center in the future. What about Huawei's 5G patent? What is the layout of the United States for 6G? The most critical factor for the United States to lead in technology is its mastery of communication technology. Before the 5G era, a large number of technology patents were in the hands of US companies. A series of world-changing companies such as Apple, Google, Microsoft, and Intel have also emerged. Chip is the brain of the development of science and technology, but without the promotion of communication technology, it is just a piece of scrap iron. It can be seen that the importance of the network to modern scientific research, as long as you have any cutting-edge technology, it is enough to change a world. The fate of countries and regions is similar to TSMC in Taiwan, ASML in the Netherlands, ARM in the UK, and so on. US companies have been able to lead in the field of technology for more than half a century, relying on core technology patents, but also because of excessive confidence, resulting in falling behind in the 5G field. Huawei took advantage of the situation to rise to become the world's top 5G network service provider. It is also the only manufacturer that can achieve an end-to-end -end layout and has successfully helped China achieve cornering overtaking in the communications field. The United States is obsessed with advanced millimeter wave technology. Although it has strong transmission capabilities, it also has a fatal disadvantage of limited signal coverage. It takes a lot of money to realize a perfect 5G network. In other words, it is impossible to compromise, and the US region itself is sparsely populated, making it even more difficult to deploy. According to statistics, in terms of the number of 5G base stations, China ranks first in the world with 2.2 million seats while the United States only has a few hundred thousand, and they are all based on millimeter waves, which means that it is impossible to access sound 5G at this stage. Network and the centimeter wave technology that Huawei insists on is not only stable in technology, but also very low in deployment costs. Unexpectedly, before the breakthrough of the 5G network, the United States began to harden the 6G network. 
National Instruments will join hands with South Korea's Yonsei University to jointly build the so-called 6G R&D Center. Starting to develop core technologies and expand the scope of the organization, cooperation agreements have been signed with Japan and Europe before, and it seems that this time it is for real. In terms of the development of 6G networks, the United States will develop into space networks because they have great advantages in satellite orbits. Musk's SpaceX has launched the Starlink project, which will launch a total of 42,000 satellites. Can such a crazy layout to seize low Earth orbit resources be successful? Is it really possible to bypass Huawei's 5G patent? Can the United States and South Korea bypass Huawei's technology patents? It cannot catch up with the 5G network, but the United States cannot give in easily. It can only promote space ground integration, satellite communications, and use the GPS satellite system to participate in network layout. The United States satellite launch capabilities are among the top ranks, and there are crazy companies with the participation of Musk, the chances of winning are still very high from the perspective of cards. But China's aerospace strength is also not weak. The BIDA satellite has replaced GPS globally and has become an independent and cutting-edge navigation system. At present, it has combined with Huawei to realize the satellite communication function, which has once again subverted the development of communication technology. This is the rudiment of integration of heaven and earth. After seeing Huawei's success, it also gave domestic companies confidence, and they are now fully participating in the breakthrough of 6G networks. Jilis Shikong Daoyu is participating in satellite research and development and manufacturing, while ZTE, Huawei, and other companies have been involved in the 6G network breakthrough very early. 6G technology research and development has been launched before. The even-numbered era has always been an odd-numbered upgrade. With a solid 5G foundation in China, it will naturally have great advantages at the 6G level, but we cannot completely relax our vigilance. At present, Europe has launched the second phase of 6G research and development. In the 6G standard in terms of environmental protection and ecology, a large number of experiments and prototype designs have been completed. Of course, the United States has also contributed a lot. The purpose of launching 6G cooperation on a global scale is also well known. Arranging scientific research personnel to participate in technology research and development does not actually provide any useful core technology, just waiting to enjoy the benefits. This is also the reason for domestic concern, which is equivalent to China's once again isolated and fighting against the whole world. However, China has a major advantage in 5G networks, which cannot be avoided in the layout of 6G networks. Although the main competition is in the space field, ground-based stations still cannot do without 5G patents. Huawei will continue to maintain its advantages in the next 10 years, and there is still no question.